Sideswipe is dead. He ain't coming back. What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex You, and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is web series where we talk about Transformers last night. This episode number 120, and in this episode, we got to talk a little bit more about New York Toy Fair 2017. New York Toy Fair took place last weekend, and I got to tell you that I was quite impressed. I'm going to be spending a little bit of money this spring, or maybe a lot of money. I don't really know. Actually, I kind of do know. I just can't wait till the toys are finally released at the beginning of May. I made myself a shopping list. Anyways, in the previous episode, I gave you my initial reaction to the first impression of these toys. And I just looked at it briefly and I told you how excited I was. But I've been reading up on the comments, I've been checking out all the discussion, and there's a lot more to talk about. Because if you take a closer look at these photos that we looked at previously, there's a discussion to be had. <laughs> so anyways, strap in, grab yourself some popcorn and a beverage, and get comfortable because this is going to be a pretty loaded episode because we're going to talk a little bit more about the New York Toy Fair Transformers Last Night Toy Reveal. Okay, so we're going to start off with Monday and what happened on Monday. Well, director Michael Bay, producer Lorenzo de Bonaventura, Mark Wahlberg, Isabella Moner, Laura Haddock, and Josh Duhamel showed up at New York Toy Fair. And I'm really quite jealous because actually one of my friends was actually at Toy Fair. And I was just thinking, oh man, I could have been there. But anyways, they were taking selfies and uh, you cannot leave without a selfie with Squeaks. And they posted these photos all over social media. You could check it out. But anyways, so that is what happened. Hey, I did mention that I made myself a shopping list. So I might as well reveal what that shopping list is. And I'm going to use the official photos that were revealed by Hasbro. So we're going to start off with, in no particular order, Decepticon Berserker, Deluxe Class, and also Deluxe, Qua Cla Quas. Deluxe Class Squeaks, Deluxe Class Slug. Voyager class Scorn, which I really, really love. I think that's my favorite piece of it of them all. Voyager class Hound, which I'm also quite impressed with. Leader class Megatron, and also Deluxe class Strafe. Anyways, you can check out all these images on the Rage Nation Facebook page. There's an album for it, and uh, there's a lot more images than this. And you can make comments on them, of course. Now, speaking of M images, let's take a closer look at the CG render of Megatron. Now, this is on his box art. If you take a look at a closer look of the leader class Megatron box art, you can see Megatron right there. And he's in a really, really cool pose. He's ready to attack. He's got his fusion cannon at the front, and he's ready to claw you. And here's a close-up of his face. And you can see his sharp teeth, glowing red eyes, and those tusks which make him look really, really cool. There's also another image of him on the box of the Megatron voice changer mask. So that's really, really cool. And uh, moving on, speaking of Megatron, when I gave you my first impressions about Megatron, there was a little bit of confusion because I actually was just taking a look at it briefly and I didn't even realize I mixed up the photos of the leader class and the Voyager class Megatron. They're both so good, so it was very easy for me to mix that up. But anyways, I want to take a little bit of a, uh, like a moment to really share with you some obvious differences. Obviously, when I took a look at it just quickly, I really couldn't just tell the difference right away. But upon closer look, I'm just going to share with you some obvious differences. Okay, so for the Voyager class, on the head, there's some red um, striping on him, okay? But on the leader class on the head, it's yellow. Another thing is that if you look at the back of the, um, of the uh, Voyager class, it's got the, um, the kibble of the, the uh, uh, I guess the front, the nose of the plane. But if you look at the back of the leader class, it's got the wings of the jet. Okay, and also the 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 jet mode of the um, of the Voyager class has a solid uh, cockpit that doesn't appear to be clear, and, and I don't even know if it even opens up. But the leader class um, has a clear cockpit. And it does open up. So I'm not sure if the Voyager class does open up, but they didn't open it up when they presented it at Toy Fair. Anyways, those are the most obvious differences. Of course, once you put them closer together in like 
in real life, if you have them both in person, then you'll see the difference. But those are the differences that I can see right away. And I will be getting the leader class and not the Voyager class. Even though the Voyager class will be a lower price point and it's still highly detailed, I still like the scale of the leader class. Now, moving on and speaking more about Megatron, Megatron wasn't only revealed at New York Toy Fair, but it was also revealed at Tokyo Winter Wonder Fest. And actually, my brother and uh, a friend of mine was actually also at Winter Wonder Fest. They attended and they were walking around, but that has nothing to do with what I'm about to show you. Uh, what I really wanted to show you is something that might clear up some confusion. A lot of people are wondering what is the difference between the Takara uh, uh, movie line toys and the Hasbro movie line toys. Well, typically, there really isn't that much difference. A lot of the differences are very subtle, if at all. And, well, here is a photo of the leader class Megatron Takara version presented at uh, Winter Wonder Festival in Tokyo. And the only difference you can see is the face mask. But the face mask isn't actually a Takara exclusive. The face mask also does appear in the Hasbro version. They were only showing it on display with the face mask off. Now, I'll, let me show you a couple more photos of uh, the the, um, the Takara version with the face mask displayed at Winter Wonder Fest. Very, very cool posing. They know what they're doing. Um, here's a close-up of the face mask, and also here's the back of, uh, of the Takara Leader Class Megatron. Now, here's uh, where I'm going to show you the, the, um, the face mask on, on the Hasbro version, and it's the boxed leader class Megatron and it comes with the face mask on that's how it is in the box once you unbox it you can do something to reveal the mouth so the Takara version and the Hasbro version actually doesn't have any difference based on these photos however some of you guys might have noticed that wait a minute the back of the Takara one doesn't have the Cybertronian glyphs on it but the Hasbro one was shown with the Cybertronian glyphs on the back. What is going on? Well, let's take a closer look at that. Now, if you noticed, the Hasbro one actually has the wings with the front on the back, therefore showing the Cybertronian glyphs. The back of it, uh, the, the back of the Takara version, I think either they might have mistransformed it or one or the other has mistransformed it because the back of the Takara one has the the bottom side of the wings so uh, anyways i don't know which is right or wrong but all i know is that i'm pretty sure the glyphs are on the opposite side of the wings okay moving on we got to talk about another character um, a lot of people were telling me that crosshairs is different from the previous one and you know what? You're probably right. Let's take a look at it right now. So here is Crosshairs. Here's the official image from Hasbro. And this is a CG render. This, this is, as far as I can tell, this is not the actual physical toy. Now, the reason why I mentioned that is because when Hasbro puts out official images of the toys, they always look a lot better. Better. And I'm talking about a hell of a lot better than the actual toy itself. This is a beautiful image. Like seriously, this is a really beautiful image. Uh, but I do not believe that the, the, the actual toy looks anywhere near as good as this CG rendered image. So let's take a look at that, that actual toy. Well, here he is. <laughs> well, here he is. And he looks, um, looks pretty much the same as the, um, the previous one physically. I know that the, uh, the, the, um, the, the paint job is different because I have the, um, I have the, uh, the crosshairs. I have crosshairs right here <laughs> and I've played with them a lot and I, I know that it's, it's different because, well, first of all, let's take a look at the vehicle mode. In the vehicle mode, you can tell the paint job is very, very different. Here's the paint job of the Hasbro version. And so there it is. It's really quite different. And a physical change that they made is the spoiler. You know that the spoiler has been changed when we were watching the filming of Transformers last night. And uh, it's it's um, it's different. It's It's got like... Um, it's not straight. It's actually goes straight and then down and then straight again. So it's got a different spoiler. But as for the robot mode, you can tell that the um, the paint job is quite different. But it doesn't look as good as that CG render. And I'm not really that interested in this version of 
of crosshairs. I like the Age of Extinction version more. It's actually got more paint on it, as a matter of fact. It's got black arms instead of green arms. So I don't know what you guys are talking about when you guys said that the, the crosshairs in the, in the last night version looks better. It definitely looks different, but it doesn't look better. I mean, that's a very plain looking silver torso it's got. I prefer the Age of Extinction version just because it's got way more paint detail on it. Anyways, moving on, let's take a look at Drift. Now here is the official image of Drift from Hasbro. This is not a CG render. This is the actual toy itself. And this is a very good looking image. And hey, when you look at this, it looks kind of like the Bugatti version of Drift. And the reason why I think that is because all they did was really change the shell. The body itself, the mold is the same, but the shell, which makes up the uh, Mercedes, is the only thing that's different because, um, well, first of all, look at this vehicle mode. It looks fantastic. It looks really, really great. And if I were to get Drift, I would only be getting it for the vehicle mode. But if you look at the, um, if you look at Drift as a, um, as a, a robot mode in the Age of Extinction version, the Bugatti, um, it looks pretty identical. Like physically, it looks quite identical to the, um, to the, 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 the last night version, the age of extinction and the last night version, although they are different vehicle modes, they are really quite the same actual mode, especially when transformed into the robot mode. It's just the shell that is different. And I'm sure they rearrange some parts here and there to make it work. But at the end of it all, it's actually the same mold is they just changed the paint. And I actually prefer, preferred the, the, um, the, uh, uh um, the, the, the Age of Extinction Drift. Speaking of which, we gotta talk about Bumblebee. There's a lot of talk about Bumblebee because of this CG rendered image right here. This looks fantastic. A lot of people are talking about how awesome this looks. And well, apparently there are two versions of Bumblebee. There is, of course, um, the, the, the version that I talked about. And then I took a really, really brief look and I didn't realize that the second Bumblebee was actually also there. The only thing is that they didn't have it in the robot mode. I was actually asking a lot of people that were telling me that I made a mistake, show me the, the actual photo of the robot mode. And they couldn't do that. All they could do is show me an, an official CG image and that was it. Hey, heck, this looks impressive. This looks incredible. But the only robot mode that we've seen so far doesn't look anywhere near as close or as good as that. So my big question is why are there even two Bumblebees to begin with? That's two deluxe class Bumblebee toys. So I'm just wondering why do two of them even exist? The one that I was talking about looks like this. This is essentially the Age of Extinction version but with a different paint job on it. In fact, less paint. Very unimpressive. The CG render of this other Bumblebee looks way better, but we just don't have an official uh, a, a displayed robot mode of it as a robot toy. The CG render doesn't do anything for me. Like I said before, when they show CG renders, they look super, super impressive, but the actual toy itself might not look like that. So I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna reserve my judgment and commentary for this actual toy until I see the actual toy itself. So um, all I saw was really the um, the vehicle mode, and that really doesn't anything doesn't do anything for me, especially when it looks so close to the the other version. The only thing that's really different that I can tell so far is that the front will be different, and then uh, of course it will have um, it has the the black that goes all over the top part. All right. So I'm not going to really talk any more about Bumblebee until I see the actual robot mode. It's probably one of those those. Um, uh, second versions of the same toy where they give it another name like for example uh like like battle battle mode bumblebee or action mode bumblebee or grappling gear bumblebee or something like that you know what i'm saying so anyways so that's bumblebee for you now as i mentioned before cg renders are or rather official images of the from hasbro are something that can be quite deceiving so that's why i don't really give my um uh, give my my real real uh, uh, thoughts about it until I see the actual toy, uh, like physically. You know what I'm saying? Because remember this, guys. Like check out this fiasco. Evasion mode 
Optimus Prime. This is the official uh, image from Hasbro. It's not a CG render. This is the actual toy. But this is what it looks like uh, in the official image released by Hasbro. But uh, we all know how he really looks. And it looks nothing like that. Where is all the gray on the, um, on the chest, uh, on the arms? It's been replaced by all this blue. And uh, like, what the hell's going on with that? So that's why I'm trying to tell you guys that don't, uh, don't, be, um, don't get too excited about the, the official images until you see the actual toy itself in a photo or in person because it might look quite different. Uh, the same thing goes with the leader class Optimus Prime from Age of Extinction. Remember this? This looks like a pretty good photo. Uh, uh, this looks like a pretty good leader class Optimus Prime, but we all know how he actually looks. It looks like this, with this really ugly looking dull light gray. So that didn't quite work for me. Now, speaking of which, the leader class Optimus Prime is actually the seventh version of of the Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime. I'm talking about the, the Transformers Last Night Leader Class Optimus Prime that was just revealed at New York Toy Fair, which looks like this. This is really impressive. I like what I see here. I like what they did with the silver. Very, very nice. But actually, that's the seventh version of that exact same mold. Sure, the, there was the Armor Knight that had some tweaks to it, but let me just take you on a history lesson of all the uh, um, all the, the the versions of that leader class Optimus Prime, and uh, first of all, we have the original. We have the original, which looks like this, and then there's the the platinum edition with the leader class Grimlock, which has all this chrome on it and uh, darker colors. And then there's this clear version, which is also a platinum edition. Then there's the Takara version, and then there's the the Black Knight version. And then there's the Armor Knight version that's already six versions. And now the seventh version that would be the most impressive version. And that is from Hasbro himself. And that's from Transformers Last Night. Which is something that I'm actually looking into getting. <laughs> so anyways. So the next thing I want to talk about is Sideswipe. A lot of people were tweeting at me telling me that, hey, Sideswipe will be returning. Sideswipe is not dead. He's alive and he will return in Transformers Last Night. I don't believe that one bit whatsoever. Now, the only evidence of that is these uh, tiny turbo changers images that they were referring to, and they showed me this image. And this is, of course, Sideswipe as a tiny turbo changer to toy. Now, if that doesn't mean that Sideswipe is going to actually be in it. It doesn't mean that at all. If Sideswipe, um, which is a main character, is actually going to be in it, then it would have made a main like mainline toy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because look at this tiny turbo changer line. It's got lockdown. It's got Starscream. These are characters that are all dead. Sideswipe is not coming back. He's most likely dead. As I've mentioned in a video a long time ago, I said Sideswipe is dead. He ain't coming back. And Cogman is its own character. After all, Cogman is a headmaster, if you didn't already know. So um, there you have it. Now, a lot of people are asking me, where's Hot Rod? Where's Onslaught? What about Mohawk and Hooligan? What about Galvatron? What about the big bad guy? Hey, this is just the first wave. This is New York Toy Fair. They're not going to release all the, the toys. Of course, they just want to show you the first, uh, first and second waves. I don't even know if this is the second wave. This could be just the first wave. They only want to show you the first wave. The second wave will probably come out in August, September. Because, well, the movie will have come out in June. The toys will be released in May. And then, so, you know, people will be wanting to buy the toys uh, after watching the movie. And then if they really, really like it, wait a couple months, then the next wave comes out. So I'm pretty sure Hot Rod, Cogman, the McLaren, Onslaught, Hooligan, Mohawk. I don't know if we're even going to see Galvatron. I'm pretty sure we're going to get toys for them later on. But, of course, they don't want to reveal all that now. It's going to spoil everything. So I think we, could, we should all relax. Anyways... Um, I'm going to move on to Takara, and at, um, uh, at the Takara website, they actually revealed uh, some of the toys, or rather the CG renders for the characters. We got Barricade. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Protect and serve on his knuckle dusters. He's got these arm cannons on his forearms, and he looks really, really cool. This actually got me even more excited about wanting to see him in the live action film. Really looking forward to his appearance. Here's Bumblebee. Nothing really different there. Of course, you know, he's a different type of Camaro, but I've seen Bumblebee in five movies by now, so I'm not that excited. Here's Hound, and he looks a lot like he the way he does in Age of Extinction. So I think they got a little bit lazy with the marketing there. Um, and finally, here is somebody we're quite familiar with, 
Optimus Prime, and he looks really good. This is a really good pose. This is a really cool image, and um, there you have it. Now, the final thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is that at Winter 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 Fender Winter Wonder Festival, Winter 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 Wonder Fest 2017 in Tokyo, uh, they revealed the um, the next wave of. Uh, of the Transformers 10th anniversary movie, The Best Line. The first wave consisted of uh, Deluxe Bumblebee, uh, Voyager Class Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen, uh, the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, and also the uh, Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Shockwave. But the next wave consists of Leader Class Optimus Prime. Uh, this is the um, this looks like the Dark of the Moon or or the um, the I think this, the Revenge of the Fallen version um, on its own. Um, this is a strafe. Uh, repaint which looks even better it comes with the Bumblebee uh, because Bumblebee rode him in Age of Extinction then there's a repaint of Grimlock a Voyager class Grimlock with Optimus Prime which looks actually pretty good I'm actually tempted to get this you know I'm not a fan of the mold but the repaint of it uh, makes it look pretty good and then there's a deluxe class ratchet I don't have any ratchets I might pick this one up because this one looks really good uh, this um, this is a human alliance sound wave which you can get on its own or you can get as a two pack in the uh, uh, the Asia Premium series with a, uh, which is double packed with a Human Alliance Barricade. I have that, but I actually like this more, so I actually might sell my my um, APSO three. Um, so and there's Starscream, not really interested in that, and I already have a Leader class Ironhide, so I'm not interested in the Voyager class. And there you have it. Anyways, I talked a lot about the toys, and I've talked about some really detailed information about it. Um, what do you guys think about any of that? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to give shout outs to my new followers um, in no particular order Red Hood, Samael, Jacob Tulo, Matt Smith, Leia, Zero Cook Skills, Fusion on Twitter, 17 Gamer Dude, y Yova Prime, Devin Kalaske, Luke Weathers, J9, Jason Name, and Eddie Strickland. Thanks for following me on Twitter. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys want a shout out, follow me on Twitter and I will give random shout outs to random followers. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And okay, so I mentioned in a previous episode that we're going to talk about Steel Bane. We're going to save that for episode number 21. We're going to talk about Dragonstorm and Steel Bane and we're going to talk about who they are. You're not going to want to miss that episode. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for all your support. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation. My name is Alex. You. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Here is a, um, that's a, is that a leader class? Yeah, that's a leader class Megatron. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But there's the Hound.